Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. Today I'm back with an exciting video. Normally I'm unboxing action figures, custom figures, some kind of Kenner goodness, but today I've got something special. Today we're actually going to unbox and unveil some dioramas. That's right, some old school style vintage, shall we say, dioramas that fit into your curio cabinets. Cardboard Galaxy, a lovely company that's been around for a couple years now, makes these awesome dioramas. And I don't know where what Wampa Cave I've been sleeping in, but I was not aware of them until just recently. And I finally got my hands on them. And I can't wait to show you guys what these bad boys look like. They are beautiful. They look great. And today, I'm going to finally show them off and see what it's all about. All right, guys, I am super excited to get into this um, these are obviously not action figures but something that is just amazing for the collection um, these come from cardboard galaxy a company that has been around for a little while and i have um, not really been privy to the uh, creative magic that they are uh, putting out for collectors and so finally um, i reached out and uh, was like you know what let me see what you boys are up to. Let me uh, let me see what's going on. I feel like I'm missing out, and um, well, I don't want to miss out, man. I mean, it's, when it comes to Kenner, when it comes to Star Wars stuff, I want to be uh, I want to be with all the rest of the cool kids. And so there was just uh, you know, I felt like I'd heard about this company, I'd seen stuff online, but it wasn't until it's really not until you get your hands in the clay. You got to get your hands in the clay and then you know you know what you're working with. And so this is a special day um, for me to, uh, to see what these guys are up to. Well, as far as I know, it's just actually one guy and his name is Bob. And Bob's awesome. And I do want to tell you guys something um, before we really dig into this. This actually is a second shipment. The first... Um, First shipment got ruined uh, here in Los Angeles. It was raining really hard. And um, when it arrived at my door, this package was basically destroyed. I reached out to Bob over at Cardboard Galaxy and explained the situation. And he was nice enough and professional enough to send me another one free of charge. Got me out the same order, lightning fast. And that's the kind of company that you're dealing with. So he is totally down to replace product that gets ruined in the mail um you know just explain to the situation if it happens it just was an unfortunate unforeseen event with my situation um typically you're going to get your stuff 99.99 percent of the time unharmed flawlessly delivered so let's see what we got here guys holy smokes so if you guys do not know who Cardboard Galaxy is, you will soon find out and probably be a loyal fan like I am already. Look at this. This is an Echo Base hub. So basically, Cardboard Galaxy makes dioramas. These are what I believe to fit perfectly into the detail of curio cabinets that I have in my collection. Um, I took a chance on it. I'm not 100% sure if they fit. I think they do. The measurements look... They look about the same width, um, and these are these are cardboard um, backdrops essentially, which is just so badass in my opinion. Um, 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 because you're able to, Kenner did this. I mean, we had the cantina, the cantina backdrop. Um, we had a cardboard Cloud City playset, which some people hate. Uh, I don't hate it, but um, I do, do, do I, I love it. I love it for what it is. At least we got a playset. Um, you know, we didn't have to get one at all. It would have been nice to have gotten a full scale plastic one. But we got what we got. And of course, guys, now that I'm doing this on camera, I'm feeling the nerves and I'm feeling the the jitters of like, oh God, I don't want to rip this and I also want to do this fast and efficiently. 
So instead of monkeying with the assembly of it, these do slot in like so. I'm gonna do this off camera and just have these already assembled for you guys in the next viewing or the next you know clip, what have you. But essentially, this is how it's gonna go. How badass is that? Obviously these, these tabs fit in. Um, they are hidden and like I said, I'm on camera so I'm feeling the the pressure. Ah, well, you know what? I just want to show you how easy it is. But I also don't want to rush this uh, for time constraints. I don't want to make this video too terribly long unnecessarily. So um, so I will go ahead and let's, let's just go ahead and do this first one. Um, like I said, this is the Echo Base one. And dang, these look cool. You gotta have some patience, like everything else in life, and especially with vintage. Have patience. These are um, custom printed, man. These are homemade, custom printed, and I don't know if if they make them to order like I don't know if there's just a bunch of them already it sounds like they make them to order so if you guys you know place an order you know they're gonna make it make your order as as they're placed um, I don't think they're just sitting on a shelf so it kind of makes it more special more homemade more DIY more fan fan based manufactured versus just like some company that's just like zipping them out and you know this is not a Hasbro exclusive, kids. This is a Cardboard Galaxy exclusive. And honestly, even if this took weeks and weeks to get, I wouldn't care. Um, I think it's well worth the wait. Because you get something... It's like a forever piece. Look at this. Look how freaking sick this looks. This is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. Look at that, Echo Base. You now have an Echo Base interior Echo Base. Yes, we got the Rebel Command Center, but we never got something cool like this. We never got a cardboard, like, diorama, if you will, like this. Oh, this is sweet. I mean, you could literally put the snow speeder here if you wanted to. It would take up the whole thing, which I wouldn't do, but you can easily put probably tauntauns, probably... 15 figures on here comfortably maybe more I don't know um, but this is awesome this is so dang cool great detail oh man this is amazing echo base hub cardboard galaxy 2023 guys I, I feel stupid because I've been sleeping at the wheel here as my father would say um, I don't know how I didn't jump on this a long time ago and, and just get it get a piece of this action um i feel silly now that i haven't that i'm just now showing sh holding one and also now showing you guys this i feel like this is something i should have already been very well fluid and and in you know just immersed in so apologies to bob and cardboard galaxy sorry brother um i've been blowing it these things are awesome these are such a sweet little piece um for for your you know your your kenner star wars or modern. I mean, I, you guys know me. I don't collect. I don't fool with the modern. I don't. I don't. You know, Hasbro don't get my money. I I sold off my modern collection years ago, so I only dabble in Kenner. Um, but you can use these for modern or vintage. Um, it's gonna play. It's gonna play for all you, you modern collectors. You black series, black series six inch. Gonna look a little. Mm, probably look a little constraint. I'd say six inches is gonna be like that. It's gonna look a little big. Uh, or I should say this will look a little small for a six inch figure, but for but for a uh, you know a three and three quarter three and quarter three and three quarter Luke, this is money. This is money right here. Awesome, awesome. And of course there's stuff underneath here and the carpet and so it's not a flat hundred percent flat surface, but you guys get the idea. Look how amazing this looks. This is awesome. This is just the Hoth one. This is just one of the Hoth ones. Uh, I ordered a few of them. I wanted to get a, you know, get check out a bunch of them. So let's let's put this one off to the side for now. Um, let's see here. What do we got? Man, we got a bunch. 
Okay, let's go with this one. Nice. So this is a Tatooine. And again, I'm guessing I have to bet some Republic credits that this is going to fit a Curio cabinet because these are all the same dimension. Um, so I have to believe that these fit the, um, the Curios. Look at this. This is a dope. This is an extension of the cantina, really. I mean, you could put this next to the cantina if you have the display space. And even if you don't have the display space, surely you could find something to put this on. It's not that huge. Um, still going to get the job done. And um, ah, these are cool, man. And again, just really simply taking these tabs, bending them in. They're already kind of, you can see where you bend them. It's not rocket science. Very easily put some pressure on them. I love it. I love the ingenuity. I mean, that's what's so great about collecting nowadays. Not so much maybe back in the day. But nowadays, man, like, it seems like the sky's the limit. Sky is the absolute limit. People are just coming up with all kinds of cool stuff that we never got back in the day you know we, we we were dished out what kenner gave us and we were loving it still love it honor and respect it um but uh man the stuff we're able to get nowadays it's just just amazing like i'm i'm really you know i just want to say it's a good time to be a collector and this has got a little bit of a little oomph to it so i'm gonna I'm gonna slice and dice here a little bit, just to just to open up that tab a little bit. It's paper, so sometimes these you know, maybe I have to go a little deeper here. I guess the tabs are there. We go. You know, it's paper. It's not been perforated all 100% through, and it's just a machine machine error. Ah, so cool, man. I'm I'm freaking loving these things, man. I'm freaking loving these things. I love how easy it is to assemble. And uh, ah, as a kid, there's no way this would never fly. You you destroy this thing in a heartbeat. But as an adult collector, I mean, I am still a kid. Let's let's not kid our let's not kid ourselves. I'm still a big kid, Toys R Us kid at heart. But as a as a as a youngin. Yeah, man, I would have destroyed this thing most likely because I wouldn't have the patience to put it together. Probably would have drawn on it. Who knows what would the hell happened. And there you have it. This is the Tatooine Street. Man, this is dope. Absolutely dope. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Let us. Let us. Look at this. Gonk droid on, on this street. Amazing. Amazing. Again, guys, super simple assembly. We're just talking, you know, a platform and then a, a wall with some tabs. You fold it in and look at this. In 30 seconds, basically, um, psh, I've got a Dio. Got a nice diorama for my Tatooine setup. I mean, pretty freaking sweet, guys. Pretty freaking sweet. Loving it. It's such a simple idea and yet something that just, you know, we could try to do this at home. I don't know how good of an artist you are, but I'm, I'm decent, but not, I'm not going to get something that looks like this. I'm not going to draw like screen accurate. Um, this is next level. This is next level. Truly like following the Kenner footsteps. The only thing missing is like those little plastic white pegs that are on the Cantina one. But honestly, those things are eyesores. I'd rather have it flat like this where you don't see those pegs um, and then if you take the pegs out you've got holes um, so this is this is the way to go right here in my opinion so good on you cardboard galaxy for doing it like this nice flat surface no distractions no holes a beautiful piece this is awesome this is awesome everyone loves tatooine this is a you know i think this is probably a bestseller one right here everyone loves tatooine you know, whether you're doing old school, you know, episode four, or you're going to rock back to episode six, you know, it doesn't matter. It's still Tatooine. You've got options. And, um, yeah, these are just cool, man. Just super cool. And again, perfectly scaled. 
I'm moving this thing around so of course these tabs are kind of come pop out uh, but once I've given it you know the forever home it's gonna stay in there and if you really wanted to what I probably will do is I'll probably glue the tabs into the base or tape them so that they just don't move um, but uh, just awesome man just just freaking awesome super stoked about this this camera angle is a little wonky so I'm trying to show off and give you guys a good good distance so you guys can see but it's so cool man like <laughs> again it's gravity um, these are great man these are great I'm super jazzed to to finally pull the trigger and be able to uh, to get this and the cool thing about these is for some reason you know what you got to take your display down you got to you're moving you just take these things out and fold them and boom you gotta you know it's not like some thing that you gotta oh Jesus I gotta get a box for this thing it's like you know two pieces of cardboard you flatten them all back out and then you can reassemble you could you know reassemble the situation which is beautiful genius genius all right you guys let's see what we got here all right okay this is the star destroyer hallway hell yes hell yes dude this look at how gorgeous this is look at the colors nice viewport troll panel obviously the blast doors i mean psh, vader's gonna choke out piet or ozzel here somewhere i mean the, this is instant this is instant setup man we did get the Star Destroyer playset from Kenner, and it was plastic, and it was a quote-unquote playset, but it kind of didn't look like a Star Destroyer, if you ask me. You know what I mean? It kind of looked like Kenner took some creative liberties, and uh, they went with it. And, and God bless them, you know? We still got something. Something is better than nothing. But I think having a more inner, you know, a hallway thing, um, something that resembled the bridge, more akin to this, would have been smoother so i'm super jazzed to uh i say jazzed a lot guys i do i know it's true it's because this is sweet music right here how can you not be jazzed about a star destroyer that do backdrop i mean uh, again kenner you guys gave us some gold but it's nice to be able to to, to flesh out this stuff and have options like this nowadays with the stuff that the fans it's truly the fans are making this stuff you know collectors you know for uh fellow collectors that are like you know what man you know it'd be cool we never got this and then just go out and make it they just go out and make the dang thing Again, it's it's the car, it's the carpet and everything. It's just I also haven't really bent the tabs down in fully. And again, when you guys get these at home, um, which by the way, I'm gonna leave a link. Um, I got these off of I ordered these. I talked to uh, Carbo Galaxy off of Instagram. They have a website. I'll leave links for you guys uh, below in the description of this video, so you can do your ordering and get your get your own dios on. Um, so cool man so cool oh yeah oh yeah baby this is sexy this is absolutely sexy <laughs> i'm loving this it's a nice sheen you know this really this one works really well because of the the gloss texture on this this card stock it's nice and thick it's sturdy it's not doesn't feel that fragile whatsoever but the glossiness really lends itself to having the metallic feel of the star destroyer bridge all metal of course you just basically, I could just hear Vader's boots clanging on this as he's walking across the panel. Um, so cool, man. So cool. Ah, <laughs> who knew cardboard could be so fun? Literally, this is dope. I love this. Like, once I've got figures on this thing, you'll see it. It'll change change the game. You'll be like, holy smokes. Um, but for simplicity's sake and for time, I will uh, I will show this in a more completed form um, in a second here. But I want to get through because I think I have 
what one more left to show you guys and again he's made a bunch of these this is by all means not the do end end all it's not the whole collection you guys will have to go online and check out everything that he's made he's made quite a few of these um so don't think that like oh that's it huh no there's there's definitely more okay so this Let's see here. This one's tricky. Oh, okay, okay. So this one, again guys, <laughs> on camera trying to do this quickly and efficiently, but also don't want to rip it. Don't want to rip anything. This is the Death Star. This is the Death Star one. This is slotted, right? Okay. It's like being a little kid again, man. Playing with toys. Just playing with toys. Playing with stuff. Having to build it. Making it happen. It's all about imagination. All about imagination. And I love the imagination that you guys out there. Guys like Cardboard Galaxy. Just making some cool stuff happen. Making making the dreams come true, you know. Making dreams come true. This one's a little bit more intricate, so obviously it's going to take a little bit more time to assemble. That just is what it is. There we come on, sucker. You come on, sucker. Let me know, guys. What are you guys thinking of these so far? Drop me some comments. Let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys, what you guys think of all this stuff. Um, it's, uh, I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. These things go great with the, the three and three quarter figures, as they're designed to do. And uh, man, they're they're doing what they need to do. And I'm just trying to be uh, fragile, fragile, gentle, delicate. So you got this, which it's like totally putting 3PO and R2 in that. Absolutely. Death Star Hallway Doorway. So this is from 2019, guys. So this is how long I've been sleeping here at the wheel. I didn't even know that this existed. You got hallway situation here. Anyway, guys, I'll figure this out. I don't want to waste more time on this. I want to just show you guys these setups displayed so let's uh let's show them on a flat surface where i can actually put figures in them and show you what's up and here is my setup with it installed into the detolf curio plenty of room on the sides to snug that little guy in there fits perfectly looks awesome just to give you guys an idea what it looks like can fit obviously way more figures on it than that, but I just wanted to give you guys a general idea of what what a setup could look like with the Tatooine diorama installed into your Detolf curio cabinet. It looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Like I said, super cool. Way better than having just, you know, a glass platform. Now you actually have a whole environment. Pretty sweet, guys. Pretty sweet. You guys have seen my snow speeder shelf. And here is the Echo Base diorama in the new cabinet. Again, plenty of room. Just awesome. Just like I said, this is such a better upgrade. Um, way better than having just, like I said, these clear glass shelves. If you have a curio cabinet like this, having a ground actual ground for the figures to stand on just really makes it more lifelike um, I'm really digging these guys cardboard galaxy is delivered this backdrop look as smooth as all get out just loving how much room there is really like really brings the scene together honestly um, there's plenty of room to stack all your figures on it again I'm just giving you guys a quick example of you know what's possible I might play with this a little bit before I finalize things but good god it looks awesome absolutely beautiful 
Smooth as ice, no pun intended. And here we have the Star Destroyer scene with the bounty hunters. At least that's how I've populated this backdrop. Um, this is just amazing. I mean, you got the viewport. Love it, man. I love it. I love it. This looks so awesome. Again, way better than the glass shelves, man. Way better. You guys will notice that there's a warm light um, on this floor. That's because of my light up above. Yours will not be as warm as that. Um, so don't be uh, alarmed if it looks a little too warm. It's very purplish black color. So it's just again that my light is warm. So it's casting a warm glow on the bottom. But this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know about you guys, but this looks amazing. I, I Cardboard Galaxy knocked it out of the park. Great detail. Great colors. Perfection. This is Empire Strikes Back perfection right here, kitties. Of course, you can fit more Imperial commanders on this board on the ground here, floor, if you will. Um, but I just want to show you guys what it looks like with the bounty hunters on it. I'm sure that's what most of us will be doing with this backdrop, with this diorama. This is an instant favorite right here, guys. Good Lord, this is awesome. And this totally fits in with the vintage Kenner motif. I mean, look at the card ba uh, cardboard Cl Cloud City playset right here. Cloud City, Bespin right here. Kenner, OG. Cardboard Galaxy. It's like as if Kenner made it themselves. Simple and effective got that vintage charm all right guys here's the control wall stuck 3po and r2 and a stand solo stormtrooper there give you guys an idea the star destroyer playset is what i'm using for the um the hallway floor of that star destroyer set i'm using so you guys can just see a floor with this because this doesn't really come with a floor that I'm aware of. You have to check the website. And again, guys, I'm going to leave a website to the, um, or, um, a link for the eBay website so you guys can check out everything and check out the store, so to speak, and order what you like. Um, this is so awesome, a three-dimensional little panel here. And the cool thing is, it's on the uh, back side. Is the uh, Death Star hallway. So it's a two for one deal. Pretty dang sweet, man. Pretty dang sweet. It's going to look awesome in any setup, guys, no matter how you dress this up. Super cool. Love the detail. That's what Kenner would have done. Thoroughly impressed, guys. I don't know about you, but what I was going to say is, and I think I did mention, is that these can work for any any three and three quarter or modern six inch. Six inch might be a little snugger fit. This is probably ideal for three and three quarter. Here's the Death Star hallways. These are kind of grooved, so you can kind of bend them and move them however you want to. It's why it's kind of like got that accordion look. You can bend them whichever way, kind of style it the way you, tailor it the way you like it. Um, but just want to show you a quick little look of what it looks like kind of standing up again using the Star Destroyer playset base um, just for a floor. Classic lights, gotta love it. Pretty awesome guys, pretty awesome. You guys are gonna have a lot of fun with these dioramas.
So guys, what do you think of these awesome backdrops, man? They're pretty sweet. And like I said, they do fit um, into any collection, whether it's vintage or modern. Three and three quarter scale uh, is the best uh, I scale, I think, for these specific uh, backdrops. I think you can probably put some six inch black series style in there. Just the walls are gonna be a little, you're not gonna have as much space as you would with a perfect three and three quarter inch size. Um, but let me know in the comments, guys. Let me know. Please let me know what you guys think of these things. I am leaving a link in the description down below for you guys to go to the eBay store and buy, go through the catalog, check them out. There's quite a few on there that I haven't even gotten and I haven't showed you. So please click on that link below and go check out Cardboard Galaxy's awesome backdrops. And like I said, I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you think about these? If you're going to order some, which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give the like button the old thumbs up to support the channel, and if you've not already done so, blast that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. And remember, collect or collect not, there is no try.